Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. We are currently anchored between the two Can Islands and we're about to lift anchor, cruise down to Saint-Tropez and berth in Saint-Tropez. I want to show you guys how we dock a super yacht in Saint-Tropez, so check it out. Saint-Tropez port, Saint-Tropez port, motor yacht AWOL, AWOL on channel 09. AWOL, AWOL, Saint-Tropez, get attention, go ahead. Yes, very good afternoon, Saint-Tropez. Stand by, I'm on the VHF. Very good afternoon, Saint-Tropez port, this is motor yacht AWOL. Uh, we're currently just outside the port requesting permission to enter to the berth. Okay, well, Saint Tropez, stand by one moment, I call you back. Copy that, Saint Tropez, standing by on channel 09. Hey guys, um, so basically, I did have a GoPro in my head. I wanted to record the, um, the visibility from the bow and also for you guys to hear the communications on the UHF radios. So basically what we're doing here, we're just coming to Santa Pay port into the uh, old marina and uh, just finding out the, the, finding the berth with the dock master. From here right now, what I'm doing, I've got my rudder hard over the starboard. I've engaged forward propulsion on the port engine and uh, a stern propulsion on the starboard engine to turn the boat around uh, 180 degrees. We're then going to head a little bit forward um, in a few seconds uh, just to position the boat where the dock master wants us to drop our starboard anchor. So you can't see this, but currently we have uh, Barbara, the chief officer in the bow. We've already walked the starboard anchor down to the waterline. It's now just holding on the brake, on the uh, windless brake. So currently still turning around uh, nice and slow. You can see Jason there is on the UHF giving me communication on the stern. What he's doing is letting me know how close I am to the ground lines on these other vessels behind me. And you can see now off the port quarter we've got those mooring buoys, so I want to avoid those as well because I don't have any visibility. Uh, at this stage when we came into the port we had about 18 knots of wind. Uh, but here once we're actually inside it's a bit more guarded and it's a bit more guarded and um, uh, probably have about 12 knots right on the beam. It's, it's a bit more difficult when you don't have vessels either side when you're docking because you're more exposed to the elements. So ideally I always prefer to be docking with boats either side because it's windy once you're slotted in you can just rest on to the other vessels with your, with your fenders. So now what's happening is um, Jason's giving me instructions on to where the berth is. Uh, at this point, you might not be able to see on the on the screen, but we're going to be berthed directly opposite the Breitling watch store. <laughs> so right now, I'm just positioning the boat a bit more over to port uh, to where the dock master has instructed us to, to drop the anchor. Uh, you can see it's all very cool, calm and collected, good communication constantly with the deck team. Um, Never rush, panic, always take your time, nice and slow, and um, just uh, planning, you know, two steps ahead. You can see now I've engaged a slow propulsion astern, uh, still trying to position the boat to drop the anchor in the right, uh, in the right place. What you can't see as well is the dock master's on his little tender, and he's just basically pointing towards exactly where to drop anchor, and is waiting for his instruction. Once he gives the go-ahead, uh, then I'll give the go ahead if I'm happy to to Barbara to then drop drop the anchor. So now you can see the bow is well you can't see actually the bow is drifting a bit to port and the stern is going towards starboard. So what I want to do now is bring the stern a little bit more to port as I come close to the dock uh, because you can see the Breitling store is just um, behind the flag pole there. Uh, then you can see it with the white car, and so we're just 
putting the bow around to port just to drop the anchor in the correct place. And once that is done, then you can see we'll start making our way uh, astern to towards the dock. <coughs> okay, so now you can see slowly I'm bringing the stern towards port. Um, Jason's currently giving me some instructions on the starboard side because you can see here comes the dock master now. He's basically going to tie his, his vessel quickly to the dock and he's going to position himself uh, to where he wants uh, us to position AWOL. And the very common thing with Saint Tropez, it wasn't so busy on this day, but uh, sometimes you get hundreds and hundreds of people on the dock watching uh, the super yachts come in at berth. And a lot of the time, what happens, they get in the way. And you'll see both Slavin and um, Jason will throw what's called a heaving line with a um, little sandbag on the end. And sometimes the sandbag can hit, um, you know, pedestrians in the head or whatever, and it can cause some serious damage. So if you are a pedestrian watching a super yacht come in, my advice is stay well clear, because if you get hit in the head by one of these uh, monkey's fists or one of these little sandbags, you can have a little bump in the, ne the next morning. So as you can see, nice and slowly making our way astern towards the dock. You can see that the um, dock master is lined up where he wants us to be. Um, so nice and slow. As we're going astern, Barbara is letting out the anchor chain. <coughs> uh, we're a bit in the corner here, so the wind's uh, kind of died down. And now uh, Jason, you can see he's on the UHF. He's giving me instructions on um, distances to the dock. So he'll be giving me a bit of a countdown, like 20 meters, 15, 10, 5, etc. There he is on the radio again, giving me a bit more instruction, coming a bit closer to the more stern. That's the, one of the guests that's just stepped out there. Now you can see we've got the port line on. Port stern line on, dog master's put it onto the bollard there, slab and the engineer's putting up the slack. And now what's going to happen is Jason's just going to instruct me to come further astern. And now he's going to throw the, um, the starboard line. Uh, correction, he's just going to put in the slack off the, uh, the starboard line there. And nicely, as I come back on the engines, they'll pick, they'll, they'll pick up the slack. And once Jason's happy with that, he will then uh, make off and then pass the two spring lines to the dock master. In the meantime, you see the dock master there is just wrapping up the heaving line for us. <coughs> so as we come in, more instructions from Jason. You can see Slavin there on the port side, doing a figure eight on the, on the bits there to tie the vessel off. And Jason there is going to come back a little bit more before he ties off. So you see there he's happy with that. He's tying off a nice figure of eight. The idea what you want to do as many figures as you possibly can. And ideally you want the boat to be tied off with the friction from the lines on the bits. And so that's it guys. So here we're pretty much tied up. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, please do subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys next video.